In my last video, I mentioned a feature uh, that I didn't have time to talk about, uh, so I thought I would do that in this video and maybe talk about just a couple other things, too. So uh, let's come to the EasyDoc uh, Setup uh, program again. And under Options and Joystick Configuration, uh, what I'm going to do is configure my, uh, my hat switch to uh, uh, go between uh, different views and uh, switch that between uh, selecting views and also panning. So that's what these two features are going to do for us. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, pick a, a button on my controller, my joystick, and uh, I'm going to choose uh, my trigger button. On my joystick happens to be button 1, so I'll select this box and uh, uh, press that button, and you'll see it'll show up as button 1. Now also, uh, this uh, checkbox uh, is checked here, hat switches button, and if that doesn't uh, get checked automatically for you, uh, make sure you check it for now. And uh, what that'll allow us to do here is assign um, different uh, cameras that we have to a particular position on that hat switch. Now, now the program will recognize the four positions on the hat switch, the up, down, left, and right um, uh, positions. So I'm going to just choose the first three uh, cameras here and assign a position uh, on that hat switch. So uh, the pilot is selected and uh, I'll click on a joystick here. We'll get that red box and that means it's ready to uh, accept uh, one of the switches. And I'm just going to uh, click on my hat switch and uh, click it over to the left and you'll see that that's uh, now assigned button 54. That's what it registers on my joystick is that left position of the hat switch. So I'm going to click over to the co-pilot side, do the same thing, select joystick, then move my hat switch to the right, and that's a button 52. Then uh, click on rear cabin, then uh, do the same thing for uh, one more position. I'm going to uh, move my hat switch down, uh, that's a button number 3. So now I've got these three uh, camera views uh, assigned to those three positions on my joystick. So what I can do now is uh, select uh, those cameras just by uh, moving that hat switch back and forth and uh, in this case just down. Of course I have one more position that I could assign but uh, for now I'm just uh, going to assign those three. Uh, so what uh, we want to do is come back and we'll see that as long as this hat switch as button is selected that's what our hat switch will do. It will um, just move us to those different cameras. Now this joystick button for inverse, what that means is that if I press uh, this button now, uh, button 1, I get the, uh, the opposite of, of what uh, this is doing here. So if I press the button, now I'm going back to this pan mode. So I'm overriding uh, the hat switches button uh, feature. I'm, I'm holding down my button and I can pan. And then when I let go of the button, you'll see that that, that little checkbox appears again. And it goes back to being... Uh, assigned to those camera views now when I move my hat switch. Now I prefer to have it uh, just the opposite way uh, for my everyday use so I'm going to uncheck this box and now what that gives me is that gives me the panning view uh, by default and now when I want to move between those different camera views then I depress uh, my uh, trigger and I can uh, select those different views by moving my hat switch while I'm holding that trigger. And then when I release the trigger, um, it goes back uh, to the panning mode. So uh, I've slid over to the co-pilot seat, I'll release uh, the trigger, and now I can pan in the co-pilot seat. Then I'll, I'll hold down that button again, uh, hit the hat switch in, uh, to the back, or the, the bottom position, and then it slides me back to the, to the cabin, and then when I let up on the trigger I can uh, move around and pan through the cabin. And then if I want to get quickly back to the, the pilot seat, I just uh, press the, the trigger, uh, hit the uh, left side of my hat switch, and I'm back up to the front. So that's how that feature works. It's pretty simple. Experiment with it a little bit. Uh, obviously, uh, you'll find buttons on your controllers that uh, will work better for you, I'm sure. Uh, but that's just uh, the way I have it set up. It seems to work uh, pretty well. Now, one other thing that I'll mention as far as... Uh, keys and buttons here. If you ever want to uh, delete a particular assignment, uh, you can just select that uh, assignment uh, and it'll highlight again into the red. Then just hit your escape key and that's how you get rid of it. Um, and uh, that is, I don't know if that's mentioned in the documentation or not, but that's just one of those little things that it's kind of nice to know and uh, it wasn't very clear to me uh, in the beginning how to get rid of some of those assignments. But that's how you do it. Just select it and then just hit the escape key. Um, the other thing that I'll mention here is uh, I didn't uh, 
set up any global cameras. I don't really use them. Uh, but if you do do that, uh, there's a, uh, a, a feature in the, the setup program, actually, that uh, allows you to do that. So you'll just come up to the, uh, the easy.config, hit options, and under here, is under the advanced option, there's a world cam wizard uh, that you'll want to run before you get your world cams to work uh, uh, properly. Uh, but there again, I don't think that was uh, mentioned in the, the documentation with this latest release. So if you're having trouble setting up your world cams, uh, that might be uh, the reason. And uh, the only other thing that I'll mention real quick is uh, the fact that uh, you can change um, the amount of effects uh, that are applied to these views uh, just by right clicking uh, on any of these effects buttons you get the, the pop up here that shows you how to change the parameters Now I'm not going to even begin to start uh, discussing how to change these individual parameters but I will tell you that if you want to just reduce the effect uh, uh, as a whole then you can come over here to this global gain uh, and that's what changes it as a whole I thought by default it was a little bit too bumpy uh, to be realistic for me going down the runway. Uh, so I, I adjusted that down a little bit uh, on my uh, system. And the same thing happens over here, with this, uh, this head movement, this dynamic head movement. Down here, the main level, you can play with that a little bit. You don't have to really worry about these uh, features up here, but the overall effect can be adjusted down uh, just a little bit, or, or adjusted up, of course, if you want to. But So it's, it's worth noting that uh, these exist, so you can kind of change the effects uh, without actually getting into all these different parameters. So hopefully uh, that will give you a, a pretty uh, good understanding of, of setting up EasyDoc. Um, I'm by no means an expert uh, in the program, but uh, I've got it down uh, to the point where I can get it to work for me uh, pretty well. So hopefully these uh, videos have helped.